Hi everyone, welcome back to the Wig Collective. My name is Hector. Hope you guys are doing well today. Um, today I bring you guys a really exciting video. Um, the Stranger Things collection dropped today. Um, today is Thursday, so yeah, I was kind of up early trying to see what it really was. Um, I had seen some pictures from around the internet as to what was gonna come, but I don't know, nothing really stood out to me like that, like that. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Stranger Things. It, this is more for like a collector's, I guess, item. Just because I know Bath & Body Works hasn't done a lot of collaborations. Um, I know that they have like the Bridgerton, the Crocs, and now this one. I don't know if there's any other ones, but um, I know that they had like the first chapter of Stranger Things um, a couple weeks ago. Uh, so that was pretty cool. I actually didn't partake in that just because, I don't know, I was like, oh, I don't want to spend money and this and that. And I was like, oh, Stranger Things, not really my thing. but. I ended up regretting it because I just wanted to have them at least for collector's purposes, you know? And so I didn't want to miss out on the opportunity. And then on third party sites like Mercari, Poshmark, and eBay, all of those sites, um, the candles are super, super expensive. We're talking about anywhere from uh, 40, which is I guess regular price, but um, 40 to around like 50, 70 dollars. And I just feel like that's a bit much. I wouldn't pay that price. Um, yeah, I, I think just because I slept on it, I don't know, I just wouldn't really wanna do that. But, anyways, so I didn't wanna do that, and so I did place a BOPIS order. I did use a 20% off code um, to hopefully lower the cost, and I mean, I think I did pretty good in comparison to the Halloween collection that we had, um, but yeah. So I want to show you guys, I literally just picked it up, it's all in here, a little bulk disorder, but yeah, so I want to share with you guys the items that I ended up getting, um, Philly Girl, I saw that she um, did a haul and absolutely loved all the items. Um, I didn't see any of these when I purchased them, but when she was talking about them, she mentioned there was a candle holder she was thinking of getting two of. Um, and I believe she only got one, but she's thinking of getting um, getting another one. And so I was like, should I wait? Should I wait and get it like in the mail or not? I don't know. So I ended up not. And, um, and so that's pretty much where we are today, right? Or what led to, to the now. So Philly Girl, she definitely influenced me into getting two of these. So we'll start off with, okay, they packaged them pretty good. I did want to get, oh, this is so cool. You guys, oh my God. Oh shoot, okay. So I got this tentacles looking thing. So it does look like this. It's absolutely beautiful. And it does have like the Stranger Things like label in the front. Um, it has like a little note on here. Um, Bath and Body Works Stranger Things. Uh, I light up. Oh, and there's a little button on here. So it looks like that. So super cute. And then what's cool is like, there's like these like little gemstones on the side, like a little green. So that's pretty cool. So there's that. Um, original price for this was $49.95. I did use for the 20% off coupon to purchase this. Also, um, I don't know if you guys were aware, but Bath & Body Works capped their coupons now, so you can only get $250 worth of, um, I guess, items and apply, you know, the coupon um, to only that amount. So anything over $250 would be, you know, if there's a sale, um, a regular price, you essentially would just pay that. Um, but yeah, no, I absolutely love this. This is pretty cool. Um, I guess just for the fun of it, let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Super cute. It's like this like, um, like oil spill kind of vibe. Kind of reminds me of like the, um, the eyeball that came out for Halloween. That kind of like rainbowish kind of 
oil spill color vibe. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not as heavy as I thought it was gonna be. Um, but I mean, I guess for what it is. Um, but yeah, so here's that. And then, okay, so. I was telling you guys that Miss Billy Girl definitely influenced me. Um, I decided to get two. So I did get two and I believe these were the last two from, from what they had there. I know they have them online but, oh well, this one doesn't have like the little, it's not connected. Or, so I just gotta put batteries in it. But yeah, I did get two. I love it. Um, not a, like I said, not a Stranger Things fan, but if I, like, seeing this kind of, like, from an outside perspective, I still think it's pretty cool. Um, they ended up, like, adding a lot of detail to it. Let me see if I could show you guys better. So, let me use the one that's lit up. So it looks like that. I kind of want to turn the light off. So it does look like this. It's just really pretty. It's creepy, but it's like pretty because because of the detail that it has. So there's that. And then the other one that I want to show you with you guys. Oh shoot. Oh, that's sick. Okay. It is this one here. Um, Philly Girl called it like a fish tank, I believe she said. And I can totally see that just because it has like a lot of... I'm trying to turn this off. Oh, here we go. Um, because it has a lot of layers. Let me see if I can show you guys. I'm gonna try to turn it on. So it looks like this. Let me see. So you can see like the kids and you can see the Demogorgon and you see like the Stranger Things label on it. And then it does have like this same kind of iridescent uh, feel to it. So it looks like that, kind of like this like rainbowish kind of oil spill, same as the, as like the tentacles. I guess that's what they're called, I don't know. I only saw it to season one, so take it with a grain of salt. Um, but yeah, I think this is so cool. Um, when you turn it off, like, you know, there's like the blue up here and the red down here, so it's pretty cool. So there's that. So original price is $79.95. I know it's just a little, a little pricey, but up next we do have a couple candles. So first off, it is the Stranger Things upside down. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Kind of gives it things like blue, blue and red kind of vibe. And what's cool is um, it doesn't have like uh, Bath and Body Works on top. That's pretty cool. Um, so let's see. Uh, the Upside Down, S Mossy Stone, Smoky, Birch Tree, and Eerie Fog. I don't know which one exactly. Uh, people were saying it smelled like Moonlight Graveyard. But this smells really nice, actually. I don't think it was this one. I think it was the Demogorgon one, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of more of like in the Christmas tree realm. Um, I guess it's the birch that it has. Um, yeah, I mean the upside down, the upside down smells good. It leans a little bit more masculine, a little bit more like almost like cologne-like a little bit. Um, there is this like certain freshness to it, so I'm assuming that's probably the tree or the birch. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's a this smells more of the sophisticated side for sure. It's nothing too like 
it's not fruity it's not fresh it's not citrusy it definitely kind of reminds me also kind of like um like flannel in that kind of realm of fragrance yeah but this reminds me kind of like a christmas tree i don't know i like it though so here's the upside down so we'll see um obviously i did have to pick up two let's see two of those right here so candles right now are 13.95 and then i use a 20 percent off so i got these at a cheaper price um i did want to order them online just because they come in the box and i am a big um i'm a big fan of big believer in putting things back into how they arrived in terms of protection um especially for like these fragile items um you know you spend a lot of money on them and you want to make sure that they last you a long time and you know you want to take care of them so i feel like that's kind of what i wanted to do but i was like i don't know i kind of just want to get them now so we'll see we'll see all right up next i did pick up the demogorgon candle and it looks like that super pretty like the reds and the blacks and the like lighter like reds almost like pink um black lid this one does have bath and body works on it um the demogorgon black orchid petals orchard petals orchid petals i'm sorry black orchid petals spicy cedar wood and dark patchouli oh wow huh um the patchouli here reminds me a lot of the patchouli in spice pumpkin and patchouli i think it is from the neutrals collection that came out last year this one smells a little bit more similar to moonlit graveyard i think but that one was really really strong with like that patchouli um like almost like incense like kind of fragrance but there is a little like warmth to it like some sort of spice i can't really pinpoint what it is because i think the first thing i want to say is like cinnamon there is some sort of warmth to this though yeah i don't know but it does smell more on the not necessarily like a body care item but more of like this like luxurious um spicy patchouli um fragrance um yeah, so I wouldn't necessarily want to say that you could wear this. I mean, you can wear whatever you want, but if Bath & Body Works were to make a fragrance, I would definitely not gravitate towards this kind of fragrance to wear, you know. I feel like this is nice for, like, a home. I mean, hence, it is home, like, scents and stuff, so. I don't know. It's interesting, though. So, here's Stranger Things, the Demogorgon. So, there's that. And, of course, like I said... I did pick up two and what's cool is I got these for like I said $13.95 minus a 20% off coupon so there's that um, and then I got one more thing all right so that's it is let's see Ooh, eddie's leather jacket so it has a bright red letters with this like black gray kind of vibe and then it does have this what does it say hellfire club so there's that super cute this also has a blank black lid so there's that um so the notes are black leather, soft musk, and smoke suede. Huh. I actually really like this. So this kind of reminds me of Tom Ford. He has a fragrance that um, that is leather inspired. I don't know the name of it, but I remember smelling it like, I think it was like a Nordstrom or something like that, or Sephora that they had it but that one was really really intense on that like leathery part and it felt like it smelled more of like like a leather couch <laughs> than anything 
Because it was cool, like, when you, like, you know, spray it on, and that thing would last forever. I remember I sprayed it on. This was, like, around, like, maybe 11 or 12 in the morning time. It, I could still smell it when I got home. I mean, mind you, I was out and about, you know, doing my thing, and I got home maybe, like, around, like, 12 or almost midnight, um, and you can still smell it really, really strong. So that's kind of what this reminds me of. Um, it's like a nice, sophisticated fragrance. Um, the leather doesn't scare me away too much. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, that musk definitely adds more depth to it. Because it's definitely not like a straight up just leather fragrance. It's like a cologne-like fragrance. Um, I can't really pinpoint exactly what else is in here. I'm trying to see if there's any other candle that reminds me of this. Because um, there's like um, Cedar and Suede. That one is a little too incense for me. Um, there's Leather and Brandy. Mm -hmm. Not really. The Leather note is different in here. But this is actually really pretty. It smells very young-like, if that makes sense. Yeah, so there's that. Yeah, I don't know. I do like this though. I don't know who Eddie is, but this candle's pretty good. And then together, I have these two. So in total, I did get two of each from the collection. Um, I didn't pick up the soaps, I didn't pick up the wallflower, I didn't pick up um, like the little hand sanitizer thingies. Um, I'm more of like candles and candle holders, fans of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, fragrance wise, I think that out of all three, Oh, it's kind of tough, but I feel like out of all three, I want to say it's this is my favorite one, which is the Upside Down, then um, the Leather one, and then the Demogorgon one. So, I don't know. I guess we'll, I guess we'll see, right? I guess just for the video, I will put, um, oh my gosh. Is really pretty I do have like the like the haunted trees um, that came out like two years ago I think that the light is also the same kind of green so that's pretty cool um, but yeah that is all for today um, I'm really happy with the purchase that the purchase that I made because I feel like I feel like it's worth it I mean if they were to do like a 50% off sale or something I don't know I guess we'll see but I don't know, I like them, I do love this. This is pretty unique, it's pretty different. Um, so happy to have this in my collection. I'm probably gonna see if there's any other like Bath & Body Works stores, because I did ask where I did purchase these from. If they had any boxes available, they said no. Um, so I don't know, I really wanna, I really do wanna get like a box just so I can store it and I know that it'll be okay, you know? Um, like I said, we all spend our hard-earned money on these items, and, you know, a lot of us want to keep, um, keep them in good condition, really. So, but yeah, that is pretty much all for me today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Um, please, you know, give me a comment. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for all the love and all the support. If you guys are interested in following me on Instagram, I will keep it down in the description. Um, but other than that, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.